all the people institutions who are forming the groups. Who is the, the how is a common integration of a living lab? Well, it's, uh, it's difficult to say uh, who is the originator, but usually start from discussion between several people who are from different, uh, uh, who have different perspectives. Uh, industrial, uh, SME, uh, user. So they, and then this group can uh, effectively uh, start something with uh, other people. But uh, usually it's not just one person. It's a small group with different uh, perspectives, complementary perspectives. And how do you differentiate the, an innovation ecosystem and a living lab? A living lab is an innovation ecosystem. The same concept we do with different we do well, it's an Yeah, it's an innovation ecosystem, but in which um, I would say the two main topics uh, or trends are involving users till the beginning. And also not, not just testing uh, or developing one uh, one service, but many services at the same time. So many services, a lot of users. Pregúntale la relación con el séptimo programa. And how is the relationship of seven framework, uh, framework, work, framework program with Living Labs? Um, usually, uh, we don't support directly uh, Living Labs uh, in the seventh framework program, but uh, in some areas we are uh, saying that uh, to, to, to make a proposal to answer, for example, in uh, the area of uh, energy, of um, uh, assisted living or health. We, we said people that uh, the living lab approach would be appreciated. And then there are living labs that are part of projects. And the project it is actually Not the living lab by itself. It will be no, we don't, the yeah, we don't pay the living lab by itself. And, uh, But as part of a project. How do you foresee the future support of Living Labs in Horizon 2020? Sustainability. La sustainability. Hacia adelante, ¿cómo ve el apoyo? This is not mature yet. We start discussing this. Uh, I cannot disclose anything official, but it's nothing. This is too early. Yeah. Even the work program. Uh, uh, 2012-2013 from CIP is not uh, yet uh, official. So you see, for Horizon 2020, it's <laughs> more difficult. Okay. Could we say that open innovation is other phase of living labs? Uh, we call the living labs. Let's uh, uh, say that they are based on the concept of user-driven open innovation. So user-driven and open, uh, uh, well, because uh, if we keep the, the former approach where, uh, okay, this belongs to me, this belongs to me, things are progressing very slowly because we have to, to negotiate everything uh, uh, beforehand and, and, and very often you have nothing at the end. Even if you negotiate the APR, but there is no product. <laughs> so here we want to to push the, the, the product or the services and in the, uh, and in the course of the project uh, okay, they, they negotiate uh, but anyway we talked about IPR a few minutes ago I would like still to have the living that working together to define a, a small set of good practices based on some criteria so that the new living labs know how to, to work to handle this stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks a lot. Tómame a mí con ellos. Ven, tómame a mí. Ahí el video está prendido. Solamente muestra el, el video está prendido para que nos tomen el video. Ven, me quiero hablar, tomame un video acá todos. Uh, 
Bueno, ya. Sí,